STEM NOLA provides a lot of opportunities for students and families and the community to engage in STEM activities uh, from events on Saturday that engages families and community members as well as college students and professionals, um, all the way to professional development for teachers and in-class sessions for students as well as after-school sessions. How does STEM NOLA go from being in the communities to being in the schools? Uh, once we start working with STEM in a garage with my son and kids in the neighborhood began to come over, we took our model in the garage and we, we put it in the community. Literally, teachers would come to our events in the communities and instruction sheets would disappear. We realized it was teachers coming to our events, engaging with the kids, and then walking away with extra kids because they said, this is what their kids deserve. That's when we realized right then and there that we had something that was definitely working in the community, but we needed to do whatever we needed to do to shape it and package it such that it can work for teachers and educators in the classroom. You have way more instructional minutes allocated for math and ELA as opposed to science. So by the students engaging in STEM NOLA, they're able to have more science minutes, which increases their inquiry and it gives them a love and a thirst that they might not have necessarily received because they don't have as much exposure. The education department of STEM NOLA basically covers the in-class sessions, a lot of the lesson planning, and really honing into activities and how we can apply them in the classroom. STEM NOLA works directly with schools to provide professional development as well as in-class sessions. It's a great opportunity for us to collaborate with schools and help teachers understand how to make STEM activities um, accessible to students. The STEM NOLA program has helped me um, in my work with students because the programming has been very hands-on and really interactive. It's helped me like go to the next level to prep materials and to make sure that all of the materials are things that the students can access and work with. All of our activities are aimed for students to get curious about what they're building and get curious about, hey, what are the problems they are coming across and how do they problem solve? The STEM NOLA programming made um, science concepts and just science in general more accessible and approachable for my students because they were able to have all these hands-on activities where they were really seeing the science in action. Um, that's really important for kids who are learning English. And I have a lot of students like that in my class. Um, so even though they couldn't understand all of the vocabulary at every moment, they could see they built little wind vanes. They could see it blowing in the wind. So simply because you cannot communicate the language initially after just being here for a very small amount of time, it doesn't diminish your intellectual value. So they're still extremely smart, but they're able to demonstrate it in a different method. So that's why I'm happy that they do have STEM. They feel as though that they are competent and they are, and I want them to truly believe in themselves. STEM NOLA's mission is to bring that opportunity to places where it hasn't been before or that there's not enough of it. Uh, there's so much talent in these communities that is untapped just because we don't give those students and families the opportunity to engage with these types of activities. We know the skills that they need in the 21st century are the transferable skills that they get from doing hands-on STEM. And we're trying to give our kids as much exposure to STEM as possible so that they can develop those skills within themselves now such that when they apply to the workforce, they'll have the, 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 the requisite uh, base of skills they need to work in whatever sector that they decide to work in. The STEM NOLA staff that came to our class were really representative of the students. So the students looked and just thought like, oh, here's this, our scientist visitor. And like, I look kind of like that person. And so I can be a scientist too. STEM is for everyone. We have recently expanded across the country into several states and across the world into Tanzania. And we really want to keep expanding and bringing hands-on activities and accessible STEM to everyone. We really want to inspire our scholars to keep asking those questions, to keep thinking creatively about how to solve problems around them in their community, in the country, um, and really understand how to go about solving those problems. When we started STEM NOLA, I used to say, you know, every Saturday in America, there's a million kids playing football and basketball. And one day I like to see a million kids doing STEM. I used to say that jokingly, but now a goal of STEM NOLA is to take our model and replicate it in cities, urban and rural across this country to the point where we have a million kids doing STEM on Saturday, doing hands-on STEM 
getting the skills that they need that they would need in the 21st century.